Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. In today's video, I wanna talk about some beauty brands which are really viral here on TikTok, here on Insta, on Shorts, like literally the beauty brands and beauty products. I wanna mention that I've been saving every single day. Literally, they come up on my feed every single day. I can't help it, it's the algorithm. Some of the products I have and I wanna show you guys and some of the brands I really wanna try and some of the brands I have in the past. Honestly, there's a mixture of some really lovely brands which I really adore. Actually, I, I really like all of the brands and two brands at the end I wanna mention that I wanna really try out that I haven't already. So if you like this kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. Guys, the first one I wanna talk about is Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like I sound like a broken record talking about this brand because honestly, I've been mentioning Charlotte Tilbury now in my recent TikTok videos many, many times and thanks to the Complexions products. I feel like the Complexion products are really good. Um, I've tried the Flawless Filter Foundation. Can't remember the name, but I've tried the foundation. It's really good. This is the powder. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish, um, Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. This is really good, you know, a good standard kind of powder, complexion powder. I'm in a shade pale. This does the job. It's a beautiful powder and also I like the packaging. And most likely I like the Magic Cream. The Magic Cream is honestly one of the creams that I have never tried ever before. And I've been falling in love with this cream so many times. Like, oh, it smells so good. It has a very nice scent, which I really like. And the cream. You guys, it gives me a nice glow. It gives me a nice finish. Honestly, whenever I use this cream, if my skin is very dull, this literally lifts up my skin and my skin looks 10 times better. It is pure magic. It is so good. I love this cream so, so much. It's honestly one of the best of the best creams that I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury. I really, really like the cream. And yeah, definitely go and check it out. I mean, Charlotte Tilbury products are in general really good. I want to try out so many other of the skincare products now. The Serum, the Night version of this Night Cream, as well as the Eye Cream, the Lip Stuff. They got so many beautiful products, so go and check it out. Next brand I want to talk about is ELF. I feel like if you like an expensive product, uh, most likely you'll find something in ELF. I am not complaining, I'm actually loving what they're doing. Obviously, if you don't want to go and splash out a lot of money on a particular item, you can just go on ELF and find a dupe which also performs literally equally as the other products. This is actually the Brow Lift, which is, I think, a dupe of the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I've been using this every single day. Uh, I made a really, really good dent, actually, in this, and I really like it. It does the job. It does hold my brows really lovely. And uh, this honestly will last me for a very long time now for the price that you pay for because the products are really, really affordable and accessible now in the UK as well. Obviously, ELF is really big in America. In the UK, it's obviously getting big as well, which is really good. Um, in general, I really like the brand and I want to try out more products from the brand. The next brand I want to talk about is Sol de Janeiro. You guys have been knowing that I love this brand. Sol de Janeiro has so many beautiful body care products. Honestly, all of the body range and all of the scents that they do, I love. There's nothing that I hate about this brand or that I dislike about this brand. The quality of the products are really good. They really work, they absorb really nicely. The scents are so very beautiful. Obviously the new scent, the Delicia range I've tried. Trident has said is also really beautiful. Um, also uh, just the scents, what they have created is something else. You know, nothing can beat those scents. However, if you have watched my recent TikTok, I went to Boots, i mentioning Boots again. I went to Boots and I, um, bought the Soap and Glory body range, which is my favorite. I should have got the products in here, but literally uh, I just put them in my shower because I've been running out, so I had to restock. Again, another brand that I haven't seen on social media a lot, but I wish people would talk about this brand a bit more because they're very, they're actually really big here in the UK, but not many people talk about them here on socials. But I wish people knew about them because the products, the body ranges, is also so good. Especially the Smoothie Star is my favorite scent from Soap and Glory. So I've been using that scent for many years now and I always go back to it because there's nothing in this world that compares to that scent as well. So Soul de Janeiro and Soap and Glory 
Soul de Janeiro is more on the pricier side, whereas um, Soap and Glory is more on the affordable. It's obviously not that affordable, but compared to Soul de Janeiro, it's affordable. So check out Soap and Glory because you will like it. It's on offer most of the times and trust me on that, you will thank me later. Speaking of body care ranges, Rare Beauty has launched their body care stuff and I'm so excited and I'm yet to go and try out the scent. I still have not smelt it. Even though I pass a space in K most of the time, I should just go inside and try it. So the scent is basically inspired to more like kind of wellness scents. They have the atomizer, they have the body spray, the face uh, kind of body mist. Um, they have the body lotion and the hand cream, but I want to try the body lotion and the face mist and the atomizer to be honest. I'm not a fan of the hand creams in general, but uh, they have launched their body range, which is really exciting. Obviously, I'm a Selena Gomez fan. I've been watching Visits of Beverly Place since my childhood. I've been growing up watching that show. And of course, Red Beauty is another brand that I've been seeing every single day on my socials. The makeup ranges are really popular, really viral. Whatever she launches, it gets viral. You know, it's just a nice thing to see. And of course, another celebrity, or should I say influencer's makeup brand is Huda Beauty. I always see her products getting viral as well here on socials. Either some people like them, either some people don't. But again, you have like mixed reviews of everything, you know. So Huda is another brand. Again, I haven't tried a lot of Huda beauty products in general. I really need to go and try out more of that stuff because I feel like I've got so many other things that I just want to use and get through that I feel like I just don't see myself to going and buying like literally new products just for the sake of it. I will eventually in the future but for now I just need to finish off what I have because I can see it's just a lot at the moment. But saying that, obviously I've tried the products in the store, like I've tried the concealer, the foundation, I've tried all of that in store already. So I know how it feels and how it looks like, but I haven't purchased anything for myself yet. But the one makeup related thing that I want to talk is this little boy. This is the Tarte Ultra creamy shape tape. Basically this is the shape to concealer and then again Tarte was one of those brands, still is sometimes the brand, still I see this concealer lying around. This concealer just never goes out of the way. Everyone has this, literally every single person on planet earth has this concealer. I bought this concealer, it's been not two years now, I think I should probably throw this away, not gonna lie. What's the expiry date? Six months. So. Probably I won't be using this now from now on saying that this has a six month expiry date. But um, I bought it back in Paris because in the UK Sephora was not available. Really hard to buy it hard online. Obviously I'm really bad buying anything complexions online because I don't know which shade I am. So when I went to Paris in Sephora I went to the Tarte counter. Obviously I got nearly dropped it. Obviously I got shade matched with this concealer. What shade am I? I am shade ultra creamy, obviously light natural. So I'm 22 and light natural. This is my shade. The one thing now with the concealer I don't like is it does cake on me a lot. Like it creases quite a lot. Maybe I'm using it a lot or maybe it's expired but um, some other days it looks really good. So I have my bad and good days about this concealer. So I am don't really know if it's me if that I'm applying it incorrectly or something like that but in general it's a good concealer you know it does a job and so on but uh, I wouldn't go and repurchase it again because I there's other things I want to get oh I just nearly missed this brand or the product the Laneige this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask and I think my lip balm is literally in my bag inside here so I didn't want to get it out but you guys have seen me using it and trying it the lip glowy balm which is so lovely whenever I wear that balm people ask me what is on my lips what lip was am I wearing but I'm like no this is the lip balm from Laneige it's really good the sleeping mask I made a heavy dent on this. You guys can see this should last me for a year compared to one TikTok I've seen. Like somebody literally scooped out every single thing and it made it basically it had around 400 scoops so it will last you more than a year. But again expiry date does it have an expiry date 12 months. Yes it should last you a year so oh my god this smells so good like the vanilla is my favorite scent It honestly in terms of the products, 
it's hydrating, moisturizing. The next day you wake up, your lips are plump, hydrated, smoothed out. It's beautiful. It's definitely worth the hype. The lip sleeping mask are 100% worth the hype. I would go and repurchase every single flavor and color of this. I know that they're launching, is it the sleeping mask that have launched a new swirly one? Or is it the glowing, I think they're launching new glowing balms of the balms of new flavors of that. I think a vanilla one, I wanna maybe get that. But um, again, a very beautiful brand, a very niche brand. You find it on Sephora. Um, Space and K has it as well and I feel like called Beauty or Feel Unique um, definitely go and check it out they also have launched they have skincare as well they have like a sleeping face mask like a bouncy sleeping face mask which I love like kind of sleeping mask like overnight mask that you go to sleep with I want to maybe get that as well because you know I love stuff like that and Laneige is one of those brands that the products are beautiful, they're affordable, accessible so I would go and check out more products from the brand. And lastly two brands I want to quickly mention that I don't have and I really want to try. The first one is being Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe is one of those brands I've been seeing all over in the states people using it on TikTok and in Insta Shorts. Um, so Basically, it's all over the Glow Recipe. Um, the packaging looks amazing. you find it in Sephora actually as well in the UK. Packaging is amazing. The products are really unique. And I just want to maybe get the mini discovery set. And again, some of those sets are already sold out. So I just don't know what to get from that brand. So if you have any suggestions, you let me know as well. And another brand is Drunk Elephant. I feel like Drunk Elephant is a very, very expensive brand in the UK. Don't know about the states, but in the UK, one of the cream is around 80 pounds, which is really like, and the price point of skincare is like nearly price of a Le Mer cream. So I'm like, is it really worth it? So Drunk Elephant is another kind of brand I want to go and explore. Um, again, I don't know what to get from them. Maybe a face cream. I know that glowing drops are super viral, like the glowing, thinging, tanning drops, basically. I don't know what they're called. They're really popular and some other bits and pieces from the brand Drunk Elephant and Glow Recipe. So these are the two brands, like skincare brands, I want to go and explore and check out more stuff from them. You guys, I feel like I've talked quite a lot in this video. I'm really tired now. Um, so this was it. These were all the viral beauty brands and some of the products I want to mention and share with you guys so like a quick review and some of the brands I want to try out and the brands that I've been seeing all over on TikTok, on YouTube shows and on Instagram Reels. So I'm sure you guys have seen them as well. Um, if, if there's any products you guys want me to go and check out like as soon as possible, do let me know in the comments below as well. And also don't forget to follow me on my socials, Insta and TikTok, all at Rama Blogger. My TikTok is finally fixed. So it's all at Rama Blogger, very easy. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys to go and check it out. Give me a follow, that would be amazing. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I feel like I haven't said that as well. Like, I feel like nowadays I've been getting more subscribers which is amazing so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i mean i mean it's amazing to build a community and just getting more subscribers here on youtube because obviously youtube is something i've been doing now for a very long time now i know i haven't been consistent but i've been consistent uploading it you know what i mean but i've been always thinking what to film next for my youtube videos i've been always making plans doing plans like video ideas this and that so youtube is you know what my second priority after insta and then tiktok comes last because tiktok is honestly sometimes hit and miss but anyways i'm gonna go now thanks so much for watching everyone i hope you guys found this video all informative until next time i will see you guys in the next video